China has successfully built an ultra-large aircraft carrier propeller with a diameter of 10 meters and a weight of 11 tons, which is currently the largest aircraft carrier propeller in the world. You know, the largest aircraft carrier is the USS Ford-class aircraft carrier, and at that time the United States had not yet built a 10-meter propeller. This breakthrough was made in a key technology of China's aircraft carrier shipbuilding field, and a new aircraft carrier maneuvering device was assembled on the floating platform. This new propeller will replace the original twin rudder propellers and will generate huge thrust after the aircraft carrier is launched. When the Liaoning was first built, China did not have the technology to independently build large propellers, so it had to import them from Ukraine. It can be seen how difficult it is to manufacture propellers, and it can be seen how difficult it is to successfully develop the world's largest aircraft carrier propeller. It is reported that the second aircraft carrier, Shandong, will also be equipped with this large twin rudder propeller, which can increase the propulsion efficiency to 94%. At the same time, many high-tech technologies were used in the construction process. For example, the dynamics, acoustic control, vibration frequency, etc. Of the aircraft carrier all required a lot of computational analysis to ensure that the designed propellers could work more efficiently and produce less noise in the ocean. Secondly, this new propeller is made of special materials to provide higher strength and corrosion resistance. As a major part of naval power equipment, the propeller must withstand enormous fluid pressure. Therefore, one or more special metal materials are needed to manufacture this new type of propeller. For example, aluminum alloys, titanium alloys, etc. have excellent strength and corrosion resistance, and can meet the requirements of aircraft carriers working in the ocean for a long time. The shipbuilding industry has existed in China for a long time, but today China can already build the world's largest propellers, but this has also taken decades of exploration. In China's shipbuilding industry, the production of propellers has always been a difficulty and bottleneck. Before the 1950s, Western countries held an absolute dominant position in the shipbuilding industry and possessed advanced technology and equipment. At that time, China's shipbuilding industry was relatively low-level and unable to produce high-performance propellers. Under such circumstances, China can only import propellers from Western countries to meet the needs of ship construction. With the continuous development of national science and technology, China independently developed the first large propeller in 1969, which marked the beginning of the process of localizing Chinese propellers. And the number of ships built each year was also increasing. In the mid-1980s, the number even reached 40 to 50 ships per year. During that period, China's propeller production accounted for almost 70% of the country's total shipbuilding volume, which also illustrates the progress of China's shipbuilding industry. With the continuous advancement of China's technology, in the early 1980s, the diameter of the propellers on the 1.1 million ton oil tankers built by China had reached 7 meters. Later, starting in the 1990s, the country began to pay attention to the development of the naval industry. Especially in the context of large-scale construction of first-class ships, civilian ship technology gradually caught up with military ship technology. China's aircraft carrier construction also began. The earliest aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, was built by Ukraine and was mainly powered by conventional power. At that time, China's manufacturing technology did not meet the requirements for building a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. In the 1950s, since China's ships were mainly powered by conventional power, the requirements for propellers were not high. It was not until the 1990s, as China's military system underwent major changes, the Navy became one of the strategic priorities and began its modernization transformation. As a result, the Navy's top brass began planning to build new aircraft carrier equipment. Since China has no ready-made experience in aircraft carrier manufacturing, it developed based on the Alyansk aircraft carrier blueprint provided by Russia. At this time, many domestic shipyards also conducted research in this field and gradually accumulated experience. However, with the continuous advancement of China's shipbuilding technology, it has been able to independently develop large propellers. When the Liaoning was completed in 2004, it marked an important step for China in the field of aircraft carrier manufacturing. Since China is not yet mature in this regard, it can only import from abroad, and was only later able to change the imported propeller data. After changing the data, 
China has gradually mastered the corresponding manufacturing technology and is able to improve and innovate according to its own needs. However, until 2015, as China built its first domestically produced aircraft carrier, 10 large propellers were still imported as spares. This also reflects that China's technological level in this area is still in the catching up stage. But now, China is able to build various types of propellers with ease and continues to innovate in materials, processes, designs, etc., gradually catching up with and even surpassing some Western countries. This technological breakthrough broke the Western monopoly on aircraft carrier propeller manufacturing and marked a huge progress in China's shipbuilding industry. This technological breakthrough not only provides a solid foundation for the development of China's aircraft carriers, but also allows the world to see China's strength and potential. As China continues to make progress in the shipbuilding field, China's aircraft carrier manufacturing capabilities are expected to be further enhanced, providing important guarantees for future maritime security and national interests. The success of this technology will have an important impact on China's aircraft carrier manufacturing and naval construction and will become a landmark progress for China in the international shipbuilding field. This latest technological breakthrough will undoubtedly bring about a qualitative leap in China's propeller technology. It will also inject a shot in the arm for China's shipbuilding industry, making the Chinese shipbuilding industry more confident in its future development. At the same time, this also provides a solid technical foundation for the construction of China's aircraft carriers which means that China's innovation and breakthroughs in the field of shipbuilding have laid a solid foundation for the strong development of the Chinese Navy. At the same time, this also provides greater guarantees for the manufacturing of China's aircraft carriers, and the construction of aircraft carriers in the future will be more efficient and precise. Therefore, with the emergence of this technology, China's future shipbuilding prospects will be broader, and it will also encourage the development of domestic and foreign shipbuilding companies. The successful development of this giant propeller has undoubtedly injected new impetus and security into China's aircraft carrier construction, marking that China has stepped up to a new level in the field of shipbuilding. This achievement is the result of the unremitting efforts and exploration of Chinese scientific researchers, and also demonstrates China's strength and potential in the field of high-end manufacturing.